What a performance by Kevin Durant, and what a win for the Brooklyn Nets, coming from 17 down to take game five and a 3-2 lead in the series. As we welcome you to Inside the NBA, presented by Kia, Ernie Johnson, Charles Barkley, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. We'll get to the highlights in just a couple of seconds here, or awaiting a, a post-game guest here, even as we speak. But this was, uh, I mean, Milwaukee dominated the first half of this game. Brooklyn, with a huge run in the third quarter, got back in it. And then with Durant playing the entire game, and going for 49, 17, and 10, they win it. He had help, and we are joined by one of those guys who was huge in this game, Jeff Green, who uh, had 27 points, 8 of 11 from the floor, 7 out of 8 from deep. Jeff, thank you very much for joining us. No, no problem. So I know it had, to, it had to be killing you to watch the first three games of this series from the sidelines with the foot injury. You get in there in game four, and then in game five, man, take me through your night. Uh, it was killing me watching the Boston series as well. But, uh, you know, I had to root for my teammates. Um, but tonight was, we all just had to be aggressive. Um, you know, with James coming back, uh, we had to help KD. We had to take some pressure off him. So everybody had to come in and be aggressive, and that's what I tried to do. Uh, did you come into the game saying, listen, it's going to be a lot of shot opportunities? Whenever I get my opportunity, I'm going to just be aggressive. I need to get 20 or more. Was that your mindset coming to the game tonight? 100%. 100%. The way they play, um, a, lot of, a lot of eyes are going to be on Kevin. Um, when, they're, when our guys are driving, uh, they're collapsing in the pain. Uh, we just had to be ready to shoot. So I, did, I just had to step up and uh, be confident in my shot. Jeff, were you surprised that when they kept Lopez on you and they didn't go small, bringing Bobby Portis in the game, which is uh, obviously a better matchup, were you surprised they just never went small? Yeah, I really don't care. Um, I mean, <laughs> what they did, they, they wanted to stick to their guns, so we just had to make them pay. You know, now we go into game six and you go into uh, Milwaukee. There might be, obviously, adjustment. What adjustments in terms of defensively you guys feel you, you have to make to kind of create a, an easier probably game for game six? Uh, we got to take them off the line uh, in that first half. They got a lot of easy looks, um, especially on our, our switches. Um, we weren't aggressive enough, so it would be more aggressive in that category. Um, take them off the line, uh, forcing a one shot, I think would be OK. Uh, last thing, Jeff, his stat line uh, certainly wasn't good, but J having James Harden back on the floor, what did it mean to you guys? It was a big boost. Um, I mean, regardless of his condition, um, he's a threat. And, um, you know, he gave he gave us his all. Uh, he came out there. Um, he, he played within his means. Um, but, I mean, this is his first game back in a while, so I'm pretty sure he got to get his rhythm. And uh, he's going to come out next game, and I'm pretty sure he'll be a lot better. Uncle Jeff, 27, 8 of 11, 7 out of 8. Thank you so much for the time. We appreciate you. No problem. Appreciate you. OKC part two. Wow. Him, James Harden, and KD. All they need is Westbrook in there to call it a day. Yeah, 114-108. <laughs> Brooklyn wins two. game five. If you missed this one, you missed a beauty. And we just happen to have the highlights for you. So Harden goes from um, he can't play on last night to moving his way up from doubtful to Questionable. This, this, and he plays. Was, this was more like Willis Reed Walt Frazier game, Ernie. <laughs> Everybody go talk about James Bland, but this was Willis. This was Clyde Frazier and this man right here. Oh, give me that. Giannis with the huge block on Jeff Green here, and then Giannis from Drew Holiday. <laughs> It drops for him, and it's a 19 to 6 lead early. Harden, meantime, out of sorts, rusty. Milwaukee came ready to play, dominated the first half. But Pat Connett, nice drive, three point not, play. I'm not, I'm not sure they were ready because they should have had a bigger lead. They should have. Giannis with the jumper there. Oh, ole, 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 ole. And more Giannis. Man, 17 point lead. Can you imagine how they were going to the basket and had a 17 point lead? 59 43 was the halftime score. Middleton drives for a couple. And then Brooklyn puts together that 17 to 5 run. 
Harden floating off glass. His only field goal of the night. Green couldn't miss from deep. And KD, oh, just too much for anybody in the white shirts. Nice backdoor cut. And a great look from Harden there. Do you play hard in a game six, Chuck? Uh, no. Oh, I, I, that's a great question, Kenny. Oh, let's explore that after we look at the highlight. Giannis for three. Yeah. So we go to the fourth. It's 87-81 going to the fourth. Bucks. Durant. This is easy, Ernie. I, I don't understand why uh, Lopez, uh, they should have went small soon, sooner. Bruce Brown from Durant, and then KD launching again. He's on fire, Ernie Johnson. Boom, Boom shakalaka, 49-17 and 10. He's he unstoppable, again. Ernie Johnson. At this point, the house is on fire. There's nothing you can do. Jeff Green for three, 104 to 100. Holiday. Holiday scores. Holiday had 19 and 8. KD. That was, that, oh, that, that was a come game. On. That was a game right there. Yep. Beating That's... the shot clock. Mm. Mm. And then the feet inside, Giannis drops it. Well, yeah, he fumbled it. But I mean, that's when you put yourself in this position when you, every play really has to count. You know, Ernie, you know why he fumbled that he ball? Why is that? Because he was in a hurry because he knew they were going to foul him. That's exactly what happened, no doubt in my mind. When you rush like that, you're thinking about getting fouled. 114, 108. Brooklyn Nets coming from 17 points down to take game five by six behind Durant. And again, 49 points playing all 48 minutes. Here's Steve Nash. Historic, historic performance. I mean, we, <laughs> he played the entire game. He barely missed. Got to the line, 17 rebounds, 10 assists, three steals, two blocks. I mean, 49 points. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous what he's able to do. Um, I think the, you know, we know he's capable of nights like this, but to do it tonight, you know, we lose Kai, you know, James obviously is, is soldiering through, you know, his ailments. Um, we're down bodies, we're wounded, and for him to have the toughness, the mentality, you know, that's what makes him one of the all-time greats. And so this is a performance that, you know, a signature performance, you know, for, for Kevin, and, uh, and it was beautiful to watch. Durant went 16 for 23. Had he gone 16 for 22, he would have joined the Chuckster as the only guys to go for 40, 15, and 10 and shoot 70% from the floor. You did it in 1993 in the Western Conference Finals against Seattle when you went for 43, 15, and 10. Good company, man. That was, a, that was an I mean, awesome... Yeah, wait, wait, time out. How do you say good company and it's you? No, 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 I'm saying no, I'm saying it's good to be in, in that on that list, but I want to say that that was just on a great performance tonight to play the entire game, to play the entire game and just kick, like that was one of the we, we talked about it last week when you're a star, you're like he was not going to let them lose tonight. Yeah, I, yeah. go ahead, Kenneth. Well, yeah, for me, I, I, we talked about what if James Harden didn't play? How could they win? You said, well, you're going to try to keep the game under. 90 points and, and have, said, have it close and let's see and then let and him do his let thing. Let KD do his thing because then he becomes the, the, the scorer, the most prolific scorer in today's modern era possibly. And so that was the difference. They kept it close, but with, with Harden, they were able to, you know, get a couple more points because he was a, he was a distraction. I wouldn't say he was a threat. He was a distraction. For, for Milwaukee. They didn't know how to guard him. They didn't know if we should double him. Yep. Should we play him hard soft? Should we give him a couple open threes? Yep. So he was a distraction. And Ernie, you asked for me last night, what would it take for Brooklyn to get a win? I said Kevin, 40 piece. I mentioned Joe Harris. I wasn't even thinking about Jeff Green. He came and gave him 27. And then Blake played similar to what he played in, in game one. Then you got Milwaukee making a lot of dumb mistakes. A lot of dumb mistakes. I, I told Chuck, and I think I told you at halftime, I said, Brooklyn's going to win this game. Because when you're playing against a depleted team, 
but the depleted team still has the greatest score, one of the greatest scores ever in the history, and you don't have them by a large amount. They can come back easily. Yeah, you didn't say it on the air, but you did say on the air at halftime, Shaq, you said, because you were breaking down what Milwaukee was doing well, and then said, but look, this game is not, this is far from over, and it was far from over. Yeah, you know, Ernie, it, man, I, 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 I can I, I have a feeling you're going to the Milwaukee side here with this. Yes, because uh, we was in the back I, I, yelling. And yo, screaming. man, uh, you know when you're in high school, I had two great coaches in high school, Coach Honeycutt and Coach Copeland. When we played like crap on the road, they wouldn't stop on at a fast food joint on the way home. I wouldn't feed them dudes on the plane. Oh, I said I make them fly away back right? to Milwaukee. I, I'm right, serious. I, no, 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 I, I, no, no. I'm not no, feeding them. No. Funny, no. but it's <laughs> y'all don't. No, seriously, man, that that was embarrassing for basketball to lose that game, to have that. Like, you could tell they were going to lose the game at halftime. Well, that, well should the coaching staff eat, too? Uh, uh, you know, uh, my rule about saying people should get fired. I, I, I don't think it's our job to say somebody should get fired. But, you know, Ernie, you go back. When you do dumb stuff and it works, you keep doing dumb stuff. We, you sit there, when they were doing dumb stuff in game one and game two, you're like, well, that's how they play, Chuck. I'm like, so? They're killing them in the paint, but they're going to keep jacking up threes just because that's how they play. You played to, like Herm was said, you played to win the game. And that was one of the dumbest games. And, man, I, I am so mad right now because you, they got a bunch of really good guys, and they play dumb and they deserve to lose that game. And hey, shout out to Kevin Durant and Jeff Green. But man, the other team had something to do with it. That yeah. was awful basketball. It was awful. And it's, it's also, Ernie, that it's difficult to win a game, a close game, when your best player is not your greatest free throw shooter because he's going to have the ball. So even with Shaq, he could dominate for 46 minutes. And then he could say, Kobe. When they start doing this foul stuff, <laughs> you're, you got the ball in your hands and you're making these plays now. So, or Dwayne Wade, same way. He had, you know, he had that second. Where Giannis, you know, those, that's what Drew Holiday was brought in for. That's what Middleton. But they don't run those plays through those guys down the stretch. And then they put them back on the foul line and say, okay, now win the game or tie the game on the foul line if you're Giannis. Hey, so, to me, he can't. Do that. He, that was the difference between he and Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant was able to finish the shots on the free throw line and give his chance, itself, his team a chance to win. I'm yeah, on, but if I, you're I, up I, 15 we, points, if you're up 15 points and you're dominating the game, you shouldn't even get there. It wouldn't get there. It wouldn't get there. That's, that was, that's my point. I, I want to find a piece of tape. Are we getting ready to go to a break? Yeah. I want to find a piece of tape that, sh that, that put this, this game in a nutshell. There was a time when Giannis got the ball on the block against James Harden, and he says, I don't need no help. Man, let me tell you something. When I saw that, me and Shaq was back there, James Harden playing on one leg, got Giannis in the post. I want to get the tape. It was like in the last... It was a minute and 30 seconds, about yeah. minute and 30. Oh, yeah. Eric Bender. Oh, yeah. He waved to the guy. Look said, it up, baby. He Bender. Yeah, find it. So find that. Sir. He says, I don't need no help. And that play right there tells me, yo, man, these boys, this is, this is a wrap. 114, 108. There will be a uh, game six coming up on Thursday back in Milwaukee.